Hello friends, welcome to our today's session on Apache Spark. In this episode, we will see a scenario based question on Spark. And the question is to find the maximum value and the minimum value from the multiple columns of the same record in Spark data frame. We are going to use PySpark as our programming language and Databricks as our programming platform to solve this problem. So the question here is we have an input called name term 1, term 2, term 3 and term 4 as a columns and in name column we have string as a value and in other columns we have a numerical uh, values and as I shown here in the output we need to find two other extra columns maximum value and the minimum value and to find this we need to consider term 1, term 2, term 3 and term 4 and out of this what is the maximum value for each record we need to print it in the maximum and out of this what is the minimum value we need to find it and we have to print it in the minimum column so this is our requirement hope you guys understood this we can solve this using two methods one is to use the spark equals direct function that is available which is nothing but uh, greatest and the least and uh, the other method is to use the user defined function to create a user defined function and use that let us see both the method how we can uh, calculate this in. we are into my databricks community edition account i have already started the cluster and created the notebook as well let us uh, go through each and every step and understand uh, the concept through this demo so as a first step we need to create the data set or else we need to upload the data set so here i am creating the input data set from the list so as you can see i am creating a list data and list schema inside list data i am passing the list of uh, columns that we need name and the term 1 term 2 term 3 and term 4 and the list schema i am passing the column names so i am creating couple of list one for data and one for schema and to convert it as a data frame we have a function called create data frame so this is the way how we can convert it spark that create data frame and inside this we need to pass first parameter as the list of data and second parameter as the list of schema so by this way we will be able to convert the list into the data frame so let me make it bigger so let me run this So this displays the output of the input data set that we have. Now let us move on to our actual use case. The first method to use the spark SQL directly. I mean like the inbuilt function directly. We do have a greatest and the least as the inbuilt function. So let us see how we can use that. As a first step, I am importing those functions from PySpark.SQL.Functions. Import greatest and least. And uh, to apply those functions, I am using with column. Inside with column, I am calling those functions and passing all the numerical columns that has to be considered. So here, inside df1 dot with column, the column name that I am going to create is great and uh, the function that I am using is greatest and I am passing term1, term2, term3, term4 as the list of columns to this function. For the least as well, it is the same case. I am using with column least and uh, the function has least and I am passing term 1, term 2, term 3 and term 4 as the columns so let me display the output so here you can see from the record 1 I had 20, 33, 60 and 44 out of this the maximum is 60 which is displayed here and minimum is 20 which is displayed in the least column so this is the output that we are expecting this can be sorted out uh, using the direct function itself, direct spark SQL function itself. But the method to is to use UDF. Like in some interviews, interviewer might trick you and ask you not to use the inbuilt function and write a UDF to solve this problem to test your skills on UDF. We do have a complete playlist on UDF. I will give the link in the description as well as an I button. You can go ahead and check it if you are interested in learning about the UDF more and more. Here I will tell you how to solve this problem using UDF. So coming back, I am creating a function 
def great underscore list and I am passing couple of parameters one is type and another one is the list of columns this is our type list as you can see here I have given it as a list and inside this I am checking whether the type is greatest or uh, least so here if uh, type is greatest then I am returning a value of max of the calls I mean max of the list that I am passing and if it is not greatest then I am uh, getting the minimum of the list and I am returning it so this is a simple function that we have written we need to call this function in our uh, with column uh, method so here is the step that uh, we have to follow I am importing array and lit in the, as the initial step and uh, here I am adding with column great and the function that we have created is great underscore list and the first parameter will be the list here I am using lit to hard code the value and then uh, as a second uh, parameter I am passing the array so here I am converting term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4 as an array using the function array that is available in spark so this is for great and for least as well it is safe uh, only change is like to pass the first type parameter as least and again I am passing the second parameter as the array of term 1, term 2, term 3 and term 4 so in this way I am passing it let me run this so we got the required output you can check like uh, for each record 58, 33, 78, 83 out of which 83 is the maximum value and 33 is the minimum value which we are getting correctly so by these two approaches we will be able to find whether it is maximum and minimum of the multiple columns in a spark data frame but again uh, UDF is not the best approach to use here you can see like it took 1.5 seconds to complete but whereas in our first case you can see like it took around 0.7 seconds to complete so this is much much faster so the required I mean uh, so the best approach to follow is to use the inbuilt function that is already available in spark if there is no function available then go for UDF so hope you guys understood this concept better try this in your own machine and let me know if you face any issues I am happy to help you guys thank you for watching this video Please to subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up signal if you really like my content. Thank you.